welcome back to my channel or if you are new here welcome it has been quite some time since i sat down and filmed a video let alone uploaded a video we had our baby boy our second baby boy back in april so it's been kind of a hectic year so far but i'm back and just in time for fall so today i'm going to be sharing with you what i've bought or purchased for my fall decor. I'm super excited. I've gone a very different direction with my fall decor this year. I loaded up all of my farmhouse fall decor from the past years and I sold it on Facebook Marketplace and I'm starting over fresh. So I only have a couple of pieces left over from what I had. So I probably won't be showing that stuff because it's just stuff that I've used in the past years and there's only a couple of things. But the stuff that I have here is all stuff that I've purchased this year for fall decor. So I've got my cozy sweater on even though it's still 70 degrees outside but I really wanted to just get the fall vibes and just share everything I've got because I'm super excited for the fall season. I'm excited to decorate my apartment. We are in a new apartment and I haven't even shared yet where we're living and like what it looks like and I'm really excited about it and I'm excited to get back into doing vlogs and videos for you guys because I am super, super in love with everything, my decor, our new furniture, so I'm excited to share all that in my fall decorate video, which will be going up next, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, let's jump into this and let me show you all of my beautiful fall decor for this year. Sorry about my hair, by the way. I got curtain bangs a few months back and I'm still trying to come at peace with them because they're not my favorite. The first thing I want to share are my new throw pillows. So the first thing that I got was this beautiful knitted pumpkin throw pillow. I love this. It's so neutral and it's so fitting for the bright space that I have. I don't know what you would call my style this year. I want to say like cottage, cottagey maybe, cottage modern farm, farmhouse. I don't know. I really hate the term farmhouse. That's not the vibe I'm going for, but some of this I could see how it would be considered farmhousey. but I'm mostly just going for neutral, earthy tones. So this is the first thing I got. Um, I got this from Target. This year, Target's fall stuff is just like chef's kiss. It's so good. And I believe this was $20. I will try and share the prices for everything, but if I don't, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad about doing that. But yeah, this is a beautiful pillow. I love it so, so much. Okay, these next ones aren't really fall, but they do have them in store right now, so you could consider them like part of the decor. But we just needed new throw pillows for our new couch anyway. So I went ahead and picked up this two pack at Target as well. I thought this was a really good deal. They're two good sized pillows, and this was a two pack for $20. They're just like a pretty, like, I don't know like creamy color but they're super soft and super like gushy and cozy so I'm really excited to set these out as well our couch came with pillows but I'm not crazy about them so I really wanted to get some like more neutral better like muted toned pillows so those were perfect okay these are the next thing I got I'm in love with these they're leaf dough cutters um, I'm really into baking apple pies right now I've already baked one this season so pretty excited about that but I thought these would be beautiful they have in the picture that they're like cut out pie dough and put them on the top so I think that's what I'm gonna do with these I'm really excited about these um, but I also love I have a wonderful cookie recipe sugar cookie recipe so I might end up making some leaf sugar cookies with these but I thought these were just so beautiful so I'm excited to use these oh and these were I want to say these were only like three dollars these were like three maybe five dollars the next thing i got from target the tag fell off but i have it here it's just this little cheese board um i'm gonna make a little coffee station like fall decorated coffee station over by my keurig so i thought this would be really pretty to put stuff on and i believe this was also only five dollars so i love this it's like real wood it's so beautiful i've noticed that the darker woods are coming back in style which I love because I love mixing lighter wood with dark wood and our cabinetry is dark wood and so I'm just really excited to like mix earthy woody colors together I'm, so, I'm just like oh 
I'm so excited for this decor. This is my favorite decor that has ever been in style before. Okay, the next thing I got was this beautiful pie dish. I said that I'm really into making pies this year and I thought this was perfect, but I needed a pie pan. This isn't just like a splurge pur purchase. I, I actually needed one. I have a glass one, but it just wasn't like, it's not as deep as I needed. And this one has like the edging for your crust. So I thought this was gorgeous. It's so pretty. Like look at those beautiful colors. I'm just so obsessed with this. Um, this was only, I want to say this was $10. This was either $10 or $15. I'm not sure. I should have probably kept my receipts to look, but really inexpensive for how beautiful and great quality this is. This is like super heavy and super durable. So this next one is just this little pumpkin. It's like a woven linen-y material with like a little bit of like, I can't remember what that's called. But you can, I mean, you know, you, you could probably tell what that is. But I thought this pumpkin was just so pretty and, again, neutral. And it goes with, like, the light wood, like, wicker style. Um, which I got a couple of wicker pumpkins, so I'll show those in a second. But I thought this would go really well with that and just be a little bit different. So this pumpkin was only $5 from Target. Last thing from Target, I believe, is this pumpkin mug. I'm obsessed with this pumpkin mug. This is a great dupe for the, everyone's getting that like cream pumpkin mug from Anthropology that's like $15, but I just can't justify a $15 mug from Anthropology that's just kind of ridiculous, maybe next year, but I thought this was a great dupe. So it's this like kind of like burnt orange colored pumpkin mug it's so pretty it's very small so be aware of that it's definitely a tiny um, but it was only five dollars in all of the targets like seasonal mugs so definitely a great dupe i would highly recommend this one the next thing that i got was from joann's i only got one thing from joann's this year which is kind of surprising because usually i get way more from joann's joann's usually is like my jackpot store for the fall season but they really didn't have a lot or it was all picked over or really expensive they were very expensive this year but what i did get was this super pretty wood like this is just like a big block of wood basically but it's a big wood vase you guys this was 60 percent off this was originally a 30 dollar vase and i got it for like 11 dollars so do check out your Joann's, but beware because the prices are a little bit higher. But if they still have the 60% off, I would highly recommend going. This was a couple weeks ago, so I doubt that that's still like that. But Joann's is always running sales. So super beautiful. I cannot wait to put this out. For that base, I needed some like... I don't want to say florals because I didn't get florals, but I needed some something to go in the vase. And I am really into the dried florals this year. Dried florals are really popular. So I went to World Market and the only thing I got from there is this like dried, I think it's eucalyptus, dried willow eucalyptus bundle. Yeah, this is dried eucalyptus. It's like kind of like the pointier eucalyptus and it's just like really kind of like sage green, but it smells really good and this was $7.99 which I thought was pretty good for drying eucalyptus from world market but I thought this would just be so beautiful in this face yeah anyway really excited about this um I don't know if I went to world market too early when I went they didn't have a lot of fall stuff out um but honestly I didn't really love the stuff that they did have out either so I wouldn't maybe recommend going there but I still found some pretty dried florals. So if you're looking for dried florals, they did have some pretty stuff. Okay, this next thing I got from Trader Joe's actually, I have not been using candles for some time now. I've been using mostly essential oils to like in replacement of candles just because candles tend to give me really bad migraines and essential oils don't do that. But I love candles, like I love fragrance in the air. But this one I had to try. It is this honey crisp apple scented candle. It literally smells like, it smells like a, like a, it smells like morning air with like, like a hint of apple. Like if you're like eating an apple in the, on a fall morning or like a rainy morning. God, I don't even know. 
It's so good though. It smells really good and it was only $3.99, which was, I thought, a good deal for a yummy candle. Oh, and it's soy. Oh, it's, okay, so it's made with a natural soy wax blend and lead-free cotton wick. So maybe this won't give me a headache. I don't know, but that's what it looks like. Super pretty. I'm excited about this. And it comes in a pretty tin, so it's pretty, like, sustainable. I went to at home, and I only got one thing because everything was gone. By the time I got there, everything was gone, and they were already putting up Christmas stuff. And at home was the very first place that I went, like, three weeks ago. So... I don't know, I don't know why they were already done with their fall stuff and they were putting out, they were like, all their fall stuff was basically gone, Halloween stuff was picked through and then Christmas stuff was getting set out. So I don't know. I got this really pretty wicker pumpkin. I thought this was so, 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 so pretty. I love it so much and it's like kind of awkward, like it's not really stable, but it was only $4.99. I thought that was such a great price for this and there's a little rubber band holding the top part together so I'll just undo that when I go to decorate and these should like kind of be like kind of sparse so I love this pumpkin and I thought it was a great deal so if you're able to find this at your at home props to you because I couldn't hardly find anything next I got a couple things from Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby tends to be a little bit too farmhousey for what I'm like going for just, I don't not like farmhouse it's just not what I want to fill my apartment with anymore I think that I got a little crazy with the farmhouse stuff before and I'm just not into it anymore I did manage to find a couple of really 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 pretty cute things so the first thing I got was this pack of three wicker pumpkins so kind of like the other one but they just have this little wooden kind of like twig stem I thought these were beautiful though and I, they'd be really great like on our um, like entertainment center thing just lined up just like this I think it's so pretty and these were $13.99 but 50% off I believe so super cheap Hobby Lobby is always like 50 40 50 percent off their fall decor like even from when they write like first put it out it's always like discounted so it is a good place to go if you're looking for fall decor but not it, they don't have like a ton of options for like the vibe that I'm going for. The next thing I'm obsessed with, I specifically went to Hobby Lobby for these because I saw Allison Bickerstaff. If you don't watch Allison Bickerstaff, you need to. She's literally like aesthetic goals. I don't know how she makes such perfect little videos, but she makes the best homemaking videos ever. But I got these little pumpkin wooden stirrers. These are just seriously gorgeous. Like look at that. Um, so I plan to set these kind of on the little stand that I got um, from Target for my coffee station as little stirs. But of course you need something for these to go in and I found this beautiful little, I don't know what you call this, probably a vase. It's like a vase, but it will be perfect if you can get it to focus this beautiful little vase that will be perfect to put these in and set on top of this <gasps> beautiful and then I'll probably put like some kind of like syrup or something next to it to just sit and look very pretty for fall but I love this thing I will use this after like during like the spring season into summer because this is like the perfect color of glass that I'm going for. I think this is so, so pretty. And this was $3.99, 50% off. And these were $9.99, again, 50% off. So hardly had to spend anything at home, uh, Hobby Lobby to get some really cute stuff for fall. And actually, this is the other thing I got from Hobby Lobby. It was just these pumpkin cookie cutters um, because I saw somebody on Instagram make these little pumpkin pie apple pies. Let me just show you. Okay, her name is Pint Size Photos on Instagram, and she created these beautiful little apple pies out of these pumpkin cookie cutters, and they turned out so cool and so cute, and I think they would be so fun to create with Benji. Just, that is so, oh, so beautiful. So I got these 
pumpkin cookie cutters to try and recreate the same thing. Hopefully I will be doing this in a vlog or potentially a fall baking or cooking video. I don't know, we'll see about that, but I thought these were great for that. These are $3.99, again, 50% off. So great steal for some cute cookie cutters. And then again, we just have pumpkin cookie cutters and that's fun. I can do pumpkin sugar cookies along with my leaf sugar cookies. The last things I got from TJ Maxx Home Goods, um, I didn't get a lot there. I honestly didn't love their decor. I thought it was all kind of like goofy, silly, like, <laughs> it just feels like everything there is already done, which is fine, but that's again, just not what I'm looking for. But I did find these sparkly wooden pumpkins. You can't really tell on video. I don't know if it's picking up, but they are wooden. And then they just have like sparkly beads on the front and they're kind of tinted like a burnt orange but these are super pretty again i thought they would be cute on like they kind of lined up on our fireplace or not fireplace our tv stand or my shelving i don't know we'll see what i do with these but but these are pretty for nine dollars pretty cute lastly is something that's super impractical but i love so I have a little blue baby dash like waffle maker. We love it. We use it all the time. I will make like a ton of little waffles and just stick them in the freezer. It's like having homemade Eggo waffles all the time. I love doing that. I again saw that Allison Bickerstaff had this pumpkin baby dash and I found it at Home Goods or no TJ Maxx for $7.99. How cute. I love it. I'm so excited about it. But I originally had found, I was looking for the pumpkin one. I had originally found this maple leaf one, which I also think is super pretty and super cute. So I had got this first until I found this one. Um, I'm probably gonna end up returning this one because that's just a ridiculous amount of baby dashes. I don't need this many waffle makers in my home. Um, but if you find this one, it is really pretty. I actually think the color of the maple one, maple leaf one is a lot prettier than the pumpkin one, but the pumpkin one just kind of fits our vibe better and it's more fun for the kids. So this one is really pretty. This one was also $7.99. So a little cheaper than what Target carries, but yeah, those were a couple of really cute finds. That is going to be it for my 2021 fall decor. I cannot believe we're already entering the fall season. It's almost October. Oh, it's just blowing my mind. I can't believe it. My son just turned 18 months. My baby just turned five months or is about to turn five months. It's just crazy. It's all moving so fast, but I hope you guys are enjoying the fall vibes. I hope you are all getting to enjoy a little bit cooler weather. It's starting to finally cool down here. It was 50 degrees this morning, so I was like, you know what? I just have to film this video. I'm too excited. I've waited too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like this video please subscribe down below leave a comment if you'd like definitely hit that like button stay tuned for my fall decorating video that one's gonna be a really fun one that's gonna come soon after this but I hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day thanks for watching bye